9 a.m. I had already been at the office for more than five hours. The fact is I spend most of my days here since I've got no one to go home to. This particular morning had been a long one of hide and seek with the boys on Galaxy Hunters. I got hooked on the game while playing it with my ex-girlfriend's son. Now I can't seem to quit. I had just taken a moment from the online battle to rest my eyes when a knock came at my door. Come in. The door opened, and for a moment I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. Hello, I'm Arabella Parker. Are you John? Yes, I'm John. How can I help you? I couldn't put my finger on it, but there was something strange about this one. Or maybe it was because she was my first client. Strange, yet enticing. Odd, yet appealing. I had to stop myself from touching her. Gum? Oh, no, thank you. I'm trying to quit. You were about to tell me how I can help you. Allergies. Well, what are you allergic to? Pussy. Cats. Oh, pussy cats. Mary, how many times have I told you not to bring your cat to work? One more time, I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> Sorry about that, Miss Parker. It is Miss, isn't it? Yes, but I prefer Miss. John, I've come to ask for your help in finding my boyfriend, Jimmy. I haven't seen him in six months. I asked her why she waited so long to find him. She said she tried, but no one was able to locate him. Then she saw my flyer hanging on the wall at the laundromat. She dapped her eyes again. I wondered how any Jimmy could have left a dame like this. I listened to her as she told me how six months ago she woke up to find that her boyfriend Jimmy hadn't come home from work. It was like he hadn't slept in the bed, you know? I do. I mean, of course. I do. So where did he work? He worked at Bagels for You, uh, out on Sterling Road, in, in the Cooper City District. I knew that shop well. I had stopped in there a couple of times for bagel and cream cheese myself on the way to the office. She continues by telling me he's been working there for the past ten years. I asked what she did. She said she worked as a bartender, and the night that he didn't come home, she had worked a double and fell asleep, expecting to wake up next to her Jimmy. Only to find in the morning he hadn't come home. I asked her, how long have they been together? How long have you been together? Five years. But who's counting? With a love like ours, it could have been a lifetime. Till he just didn't come home. I'm so afraid something terrible has happened to him. Don't worry. I promise you this. I will find your Jimmy. I'm sorry. I have to take this. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. Somebody I've been waiting for has finally logged online and has challenged me. Galaxy Hunters? I nodded my head. I smiled. I couldn't help myself. Looks and smarts all in one dame. What's the odds? That's okay. He can wait. Right now I make this promise to you. I will find out what happened to your... Jimmy. Right. Jimmy. Thank you. You have been so kind, John. My pleasure. I assure you. Please, see my secretary Mary on the way out, and she will tell you about payment. Like in slow motion, she smiles and turns. 
I hurried to open the door for her. For a brief moment, our eyes met. I had never known anyone quite like her before. And then she was gone. I looked at my watch, the one my mom had given me last Christmas. I had inquired earlier that day to what time the shift change was for the bagel makers. I was told 11.30 p.m. I thought maybe somebody might know what happened to Miss Arabella Parker's boyfriend, Jimmy. So, what's with all the dropping of the knives all over the floor? I don't know, Dottie. They seem to just be jumping right off the tray. She's better knives. You better watch yourself, Zoe. I heard when you drop knives, that means a man is coming into your life. Is that another one of your old wives' tales? Well, hello. Coffee, sir? You seem very young. I'll have you know my birthday was yesterday. I'm a whole 18 years old and fully grown. I waited patiently as the waitress refilled Can my I get coffee. Some sugar? Maybe later. She was cute. But 18? Still jailbait in my book. Okay, guys, we are here to make the bagels. Excuse me. Glad you could make it. Did you not hear me? We're here to make the bagels. Get into the apron and hit the back. What was I to do? He had mistaken me as a new employee. It only took me a moment to realize this would be the perfect opportunity for me to talk to Jimmy's fellow co-workers and also learn a new skill. In case this detective thing didn't work out, the night progressed pretty slow at first. And then I got a hang of making the hole. And things got a whole lot easier. These were a fun bunch of people to work with. I found I got along with them very well. And they seemed to like me too. Whenever I got a chance though, I would ask about Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, I remember him. Hmm. Such a sweet young man. I liked him a lot. Hmm. Jimmy was a character, all right. Funny guy, that Jimmy. Jimmy? Oh, he's a real ladies' man. He was always over there talking to Betty and Ruby, laughing, goofing off with them. I do have to say, I was a little jealous. I kind of like that Ruby. Hey, Jimmy, you saved my life once. You see that old mixer over there? I, uh, I accidentally dropped into it one night. I was trying to get a flower bag in dropped into it, but uh, there was Jimmy, you know, right there as always. He uh, pulled me back and saved my life. Great guy, that Jimmy. Good guy, that Jimmy. Never late. Not once in ten years. Now get back to work. They all had something nice to say about Jimmy. But when asked what really happened to him, everyone clammed up. Wouldn't say. Turn the other way made me wonder, what really happened to Jimmy? Sorry, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Luckily, we had, uh, we had the new guy here. Well, what's your name? John. John, that's right, John, indeed. I'll discuss this with you later. Now back to work. I must be spending too much time at my computer. I can't help but notice that women have really changed. Not like I remembered them before I started playing Galaxy Hunters. I volunteered to stay behind and help Jenny, who was nominated to clean up since she came late. Night, Jenny. Night, John. Actually, Betty, it's morning. No, it's my night. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> Good night, Jenny. Good night. Good night, John. I hope we see you tomorrow. See you, man. If I hurry, I can make it to the last part. Oh. I remember when I was your age. Oh, man. Working, drinking, dames. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The dames. I wasn't that yesterday, huh? Yeah.
I was left alone with Jenny, and we did our work in silence. Then suddenly, she spoke. John, was it? Yeah. I was told you were looking for Jimmy. Why were you looking for Jimmy? For a friend. This friend, would it happen to be a woman by the name of Arabella Parker? Well, I'm not at liberty to say. But what if it was? Well, how is she doing? I could see she was genuinely concerned. Okay, I guess. You know, missing Jimmy. That's when it hits me. Right here in front of me. You could have knocked me over with a feather. For the next hour, she spills her guts out on how she once was Jimmy, that he and Arabella were so much in love. So I decided to ask her, what happened? What happened? Well, I wanted to be a dame, that's what happened. You know, I wanted a pussycat. I've always wanted a pussycat. But Arabella, she's allergic, allergic to, to pussy. pussy. Cats, I know. I could tell this was hard for her. She told me that she always felt she was different, somehow. Then she fell in love with Arabella. That's when it came clear to her what she had to do. So she saved up her money by working some extra shifts. When she had enough money for the operation, she went for it. Well, why didn't you tell Arabella? I tried many times to tell Arabella, but Arabella was so in love with me, so I just had to go. I just had to leave her and leave my old life behind. So do you have a pussy cat now? I do. She pulls up her apron and to my relief, reaches into her pocket to show me a picture of... Her name is Aloysius. Her pussy cat. Come in. Have you found my Jimmy? Where is he? Is he okay? I couldn't help but notice how stunning she looked in the sunlight. I felt for this day. Miss Arabella Parker. I had her sit down. How could I tell her what Jenny had told me? I couldn't. So I told her the next best thing. That I hadn't found Jimmy. That he probably got hit by a car and lost his memory. And wandered off somewhere. I told her not to count on ever seeing him again. I assures her that there is a man out there for her. One who will love her for who she is who's also allergic to pussy. Cats. That seemed to make her happy. That was three months ago. My detective business is a success. I fired my secretary and her cat. Life is grand. Arabella is now my partner and my wingman in Galaxy Hunters. I've never been happier. Moral of this story is, a dame by any other name is still a dame. Time to make the bagels. You know my Uncle Jimmy is now my Aunt Jenny? Hey, no. <laughs> That Jimmy, that Jimmy is just wonderful. He's a fabulous guy. You know, I think I dated him once. I didn't really know Jimmy, but I really like Jimmy. Jimmy, Jenny, who cares? Jimmy owed me money. How am I supposed to collect it now? Plus, I'm still waiting for my bagels. I was the cameraman for the operation. It'll be coming to a theater or a television station near you very soon.